What's going on guys? Uh, we finally got our first big trade of this year and I gotta be honest, I was floored. I couldn't believe that, that this was the trade, that these were the teams. Um, and I'm just I'm just surprised this isn't what I was expecting at all. So if you've not seen yet, the Clippers, according to Woj, who tweeted this out this morning, the Clippers are trading Eric Bledsoe, Justice Winslow, Keon Johnson, and a second round pick to the Portland Trailblazers in exchange for Norman Powell and Robert Covington. And as a as a Clippers hater, as a very big Lakers fan, I hate this. This is terrible. This is an absolute robbery on the part of the Clippers. And I don't understand the thinking for Portland. To me, it can only be one of two things. It The move does get them under the salary cap. So either they just wanted to clear cap space and they don't want to pay that much into the luxury tax for a lottery team that's been, you know, dealing with injuries. Dame's been hurt for so long. They're just kind of middling around right now. It's not like this is a year of contention. Or this is clearing the decks to make another big trade, like that rumored CJ McCollum, Ben Simmons-centric deal. But I just keep coming back to the fact that Norman Powell and Robert Covington are two players you would probably want in a throw-in, like as throw-ins in a trade like that. So for the Portland side of things, it really doesn't make sense to me. This feels like a move before a move, but... In this trade, out of all of these, out of all of these players and, and the pick and everything, I think Norman Powell has the most value, and so Portland giving up the player with the most value in this trade just doesn't. It doesn't seem like enough to get back to get Bledsoe, Keon Johnson, and a first. It's just or in a second. It's kind of just like there weren't better offers out there for Norman Powell. There wasn't a team like a Utah. They could really use a, a swing pin three, like a three and D type of wing. I just, it's hard to believe. And I think the thing that makes it even harder for Blazers fans to accept is Norman Powell is who the team traded Gary Trent Jr. for to Toronto. It was Gary Trent Jr. and a couple of firsts for Norman Powell. And it ended up being like almost a, a total of a year of Norman Powell, including the extension they signed him to in exchange for two picks and Gary Trent, who's been absolutely destroying it. He's been setting the league on fire the last couple. I think he's got like five straight 30 point games, something like that in Toronto. And so it just, it, it just shows like a lack of, of forethought to the, to the Portland side of things, which is just on top of everything else that they have going on is just not a good look when you're trying to keep a star like Dame happy. You're trying to, you know, maximize what is left of his prime and his career or they're going another way and they're getting ready to hit the big reset button. Uh, either way, though, this is a baffling move for Portland. Like, this really feels like they got absolutely fleeced. And, you know, you got to give some credit to the team doing the fleecing. This is a huge win for the Clippers. I don't, I was surprised to see that they were, you know, the first team to be buyers at the trade deadline because. They've been kind of floating above 500 all year. Uh, they just beat the Lakers last night. They are they're being led by Marcus Morris, Reggie Jackson, Luke Kennard. Um, I think they said last night during the broadcast that there was like 130, 140 million dollars in contracts of injured players right now for the Clippers between Kawhi and Paul George and a few others. So. I don't think we see Kawhi Leonard this year. That was a report that came out um, earlier this week that, you know, despite earlier rumors that he was recovering faster than expected, he's probably not going to play. And Paul George, we have no idea. He's been dealing with his shoulder issues. There's no official timetable on that one, on when we can expect to get him back for that. So it kind of seems odd to me that they would go all in and get, you know, a Robert, a Robert Covington, a Norman Powell, Unless either this is a move to acquire assets to make another move because they cleared out the table to get Paul George in the first place a couple of years ago. Or this is a Clippers team that's just trying to, you know, stay competitive, keep the illusion of a competitive team and continue to build with the thought towards next year. Because I do think that Norman Powell is the best player in this trade and I think he fits right in with that team right now. But when you bring back Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, who both ostensibly play the same position as Norm Powell, 
to me, it feels like the writing's on the wall that he's going to probably be more of a of a trade piece to be dangled as far as, you know, what can we get back from from teams? Uh, what, what who, who wants to overpay for a wing right now on a good deal is basically what I think it's going to turn into. But in the meantime, for that, like, treading water, stay stay competitive, make it into the playoffs, that, and not just as a play-in team, this is a, a good move for that. And it's a move that shows even more thought being put into, you know, next season when they do have Paul George and Kawhi, those guys back at full strength, and they're really trying to make a push. Um, I just, yeah, I can't believe. When I saw the Woj tweet, I was like, okay, we got a trade finally. And then it, it, it's unbelievable. I don't know if Portland was asleep or auto reply. Like, that's it's just crazy to me. Uh, Blazers fans, I'm sorry. That is a That is a city and fan base that loves their team. And I just, I don't understand the point of this move right now. Um, and that that's all I, I think I have right now. Uh, if you have any thoughts on this trade, if winners, losers, uh, what you think Portland might be planning, uh, please let me know in the comments section. Uh, keep it here. We'll see what happens with the trade deadline as it, as it heats up. We got another week or so, or well, at this point, probably like four days, five days. So we'll see if it really starts to heat up. Uh, but for now, this has been it. Thank you for watching, and I will be back soon.